When you live in New York, you're surrounded by food, good food. But what if you have allergies or sensitivities? Enjoying wine, beer, cheese, even delicious truffles could end up leading to a bad reaction. So how do you avoid those headaches, the hives, the watery eyes? Holistic pharmacist Sherry Torcos joins me now with some tips on what to do as we head into the season of gorging ourselves. There are some foods that one should keep in mind might cause a bad reaction in some of us, right? Yes, that's right. Um, a food sensitivity that is becoming much more common today, histamine intolerance, something that people may not even realize they have, but histamines are present in a lot of those foods that we like, the wine, the beer, the aged meats and cheeses, and if your body's not breaking histamine down efficiently, you can get the headaches, the hives, the racing heart, upset stomach, you can feel nauseous and queasy, and it's not just in the bad foods or the, the indulgent foods, let's say, it's also in things like yogurt and kefir, coffee, chocolate, they fermented also... Fermented foods or Fermented foods, foods, yes, pickled, pickled vegetables, things like that also contain a lot of histamines, and what happens with somebody who has a histamine intolerance, their body likely doesn't have enough of an enzyme to break down those histamines and that causes the symptoms. So what can you do? Can you supplement for it to try and break those down eventually? Yes, you can. In fact, just in the same way that people that have lactose intolerance can take an enzyme to break down lactose, you can also take an enzyme to break down histamine. The enzyme is called diamine oxidase or DAO. And if you supplement with that about 15 minutes before you're eating those high histamine foods, it helps your body to break them down efficiently so that you don't get those unpleasant symptoms. And anybody watching this might think, oh, well, I'm having those reactions now, but I didn't have them 20, 10 10 years ago, I was eating those foods just fine. Is that normal too? Well, interestingly, a deficiency of DAO becomes much more common as we age. So I do hear a lot of patients will say to me, you know, I used to be able to have p beer and pizza and wine and cheese and meat, and I would never, it was fine. Yeah. All of a sudden, when I hit 30 or 40 or 50, these foods are not agreeing with me. And sometimes people will just try to avoid them, or they might mistake with lactose intolerance or an intolerance to sulfites. But it could actually be a histamine intolerance, which is very common. In fact, histamine intolerance is much more common than gluten intolerance. Hmm. And we're hearing so many people today that have gluten intolerance or celiac disease. And the two actually go hand in hand. If you have gastrointestinal disease, celiac, Crohn's, colitis, irritable bowel, that predisposes you to having a DAO deficiency and having histamine intolerance. So is this now something that is in the general, um, I guess, work out there, people understand that there is this lack of an enzyme that can lead to this and this is part of what you do as a holistic pharmacist? I would say that awareness is building. This is something that a lot of people don't know about. Just like with gluten intolerance, when I was diagnosed with celiac gluten intolerance in the 80s, nobody had really heard about it. It was thought to be very rare. But now we realize that gluten intolerance is quite common. I think we're seeing the same thing with histamine intolerance. Now there is better testing that's being developed to determine if you have a histamine intolerance. And also now there is a treatment available. You don't necessarily have to give up all those foods that you like. You can take the enzyme supplement before you eat the high histamine foods, whereas years ago that wasn't available. And you blog more about this on your website, I right? do. I have information on my website, sherrytorkus.com, about this issue of histamine intolerance, DAO deficiency. and, and not not just the stuff you have to avoid, but also some things that you should add to your diet, like oh. olive oil. Olive oil is great. Chicken, pomegranate, onions, those are foods that are helpful if you have a DAO deficiency. So you want to include some of those in your diet. So you don't always have to take a pill. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Sherry Torcos, thank you so much. Thank you.